the beautiful Spotted Granta uh, Resort. Um, it's a lovely chilly morning here. Um, we were struggling for a bit of live bait yesterday but uh, the, the Spotted Granta and uh, Vernon from the Spotted Granta have offered to take us out on the boat today and, and get us some live mackerel. Um, so while we are getting the live mackerel we left the old Bali Ray here uh, to get the, the water for us. Uh, so yeah, super excited to get onto the boat and we're super ready to get onto the boat. Uh, let's hope we can get some fish. Dolphins swimming up to the boat. Um, Dino's having a blast. We've just actually uh, come about a k and a half uh, up the beach, um, and we just went down for for a bit of live bait. Uh, we have one uh, who's brought us out on a boat called the G Spot from this the lovely spot of Granta Resort. My sinker with my little non return, or not a non return, the slippery slide. I'm gonna just throw it out now quickly and then I'll show you how we rig our bait over there. Okay. Basically, what I've got are two big guns, one hose that I've tied with a bit of cotton back to back. That's a figure of eight slip knot over there, which when obviously gives a lot of movement like this. When you actually hook the Garrick, that will slide down. And of course, our normal nappy pin. Okay, slippery slide as the guys like to call it. There's my mackerel, he's all alive. All I need to do is get a toothpick. Have a look there, he's just slid his first mackerel. Pick. And we're just going to go in, just like that, and just lightly under the skin, not too far, just like that. We take a nappy, our hook, and we're going just under the skin like that. There we go. And here's the way. Okay, all we do is just go in. Around, back through like that and there it can slide up and down now for this place to be very effective you need the height so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually climb up onto one of these big rocks over here Thirty 
seconds now and we've actually seen a whole lot of fish swimming around the corner there a whole lot of dolphins and that have come around the corner and normally they chase the actual garrick and the cob in so hopefully we get a bite soon and my mackerel is very alive i can feel it vibrating like it's unbelievable I just had a nice pull on um, a live mackerel. Um, what I did change to was I changed uh, now to one of the the chaos plugs, the pink setup. I'm going to be using is um, I've actually pinch ray setup because I had a bit too much to carry. So basically, it is uh, 10 foot 6 BG and it is uh, salt is 4000. <laughs> this for a dead bait and I'm going to go throw it on that far side so what I'm doing is just going behind the actual fin coming out into the plate over there and then just sliding it all the way down so it sits like that just taking the nylon wrapping it around the tail a couple of times have slowed down a bit uh, there wasn't much in the first place um, so what I've decided to do is while we wait for the tide to start pushing uh, just target one of the uh, ragging bay maybe in this in this dirty water um, so what I did now is one of these beautiful fresh fresh mackerels um, I'm actually just sliced its head and you can actually see the blood coming out of it um, so in dirty water like this uh, your bait doesn't really have to be that presentable, uh, but it must have a lot of smell. In it. The more cotton, the better, because as those small particles get away, um, the cotton actually tightens. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of smell. I'm sure, we can add more onto the bait. The bad part about this is, while the mackerels were in the cooler box, they started to defrost, so it doesn't make it very easy when trying to actually mold a bait. Basically, it's just a full metal jacket. Um, I really enjoy fishing with the mustard catfish hooks. These are two mustard HO catfish hooks. Um, I haven't lost a fish, I haven't straightened one. Um, so these are definitely one of my my favorite, favorite hooks to fish with. Um, and anyone who wants to, to target bigger fish, I think, would be blessed to have hooks like this, I think. Because they are ultra sharp and they don't come out unless you pull them out.
do rain. Little baby one, only a couple of days old. That's the important part, guys. If he stops making uh, a movement there, I'll help you. got to watch out for guys Ew, they almost got me. a little male blue ray and they're very aggressive there he goes St. John's, this is my last bait in the water. We've been here for three days, we've caught some nice fish. Thanks to Vernon from Spotted Grunter who made us feel really at home. Nothing was ever a problem for him. We went for a lovely boat ride up and down the river. You guys, as you know, went out to sea and enjoyed a day out at sea. Caught us some lovely live bait which we converted into a rock card and one or two other fish that bit us off. We're now heading back to Spotted Grunter after a lovely evening of fishing. Sit back, we're going to relax a bit. A special thank you to the Spotted Grunter for accommodating ASFN and for supporting fishing the way you do. This venue is perfectly situated right next to the river and perfectly set up for every angler's needs. If you're looking for the most memorable and comfortable accommodation when fishing Port St. John's, look no further than the Spotted Grunter.